Okay, big man. Whether they're black, white, or purple, every dog that comes to Nina Layton and Salon gets the star treatment. There's so much fun stuff that you can do you know, um, with the hair when the clients will let you. It all starts with a bath and ends with a trendy cut. His mom wants uh, something a little bit shorter and easy maintenance, especially when it's really muddy outside. Nina is the owner of the Fetching Fur Pet Salon in Abbotsford, and together with her co-worker Jen Davies, she cuts and colors hair for man's best friend. One thing that I um, specialize in is the creative side of it. Jen is very good at technical, like to the point, and uh, I've been trying to stretch my limits and doing the creative cuts to bring out their cuteness, to do something different than everybody else. So how creative does Nina get? Well, check out the recent looks her dog Jet has been sporting. Just coloring the Olympic rings took me three hours. You know, and then, you know, after they're dried, you have to do a lot of touch up. In fact, Nina is a certified master groomer. Um, I actually went to school to learn my trade. And after you learn the basics, you have to be tested um, to become certified, which I have done. I've done my testing and been judged. Nina uses a vegetable based color on the dogs that can transform them from hot pink to deep purple. Okay, and what kind of a procedure is it? And we'll let you go. What kind of a procedure is involved in dyeing uh, their hair? Well, first of all, you have to have a clean dog. Uh -huh. So we have to bathe and brush and, and dry the dog completely mm -hmm. so there's no oil or dirt. And then we apply the color and they just have to sit for a little while. And so if people want to do this, hi, I'll you up again. If people want their dog to look a little something like this, what can they do? Uh, let a professional do it. Uh -huh. yeah. So once your dog has been cut and colored, you can check out Nina's boutique, complete with dog sweaters knit by her mom. Um, I'm actually looking for um, a sweater for my dog. Yeah, and I heard that these ones were really nice. I was talking to a neighbor of mine and he shops in this boutique. I'm sort of leaning towards this one. My dog, although he's not showing it right now, he is very flamboyant. So what's next for Nina? Well, she'll be transforming her poodle Jack for another competition. He's not going to be he, he will be she and wearing roller skates. I'm Bianca Seltrebeck in Abbotsford Bang. for The Express. Yes, good boy.